There we go, baby. Hey, it's fall time, you know, that's also known as football season, baby. We're teaching you how to catch them on the football jig today. Booyah. So first things first when you're fishing a football jig is picking the right trailer. So you want a trailer that matches the size of the jig. And for this thing, since we're going for the smallies, I picked a crawdad. So to rig it up, you want to take your little crawdad trailer, put the hook in it, and just slide it up. Slide it up on the hook, slide it up on the hook. And then once you get about like an inch of it on, I'd say, then you can just slide it up. And on these football jigs, there's a little notch. See that notch right there? Boom. You want to get your bait above that notch because that helps it stay on tighter when all those big smallies are hopping on your bait. So you're going to slide it up like that. And then you're all good. Nothing else to it. The football jig's great because you can really fish weed lines and structure because of this little thing right here helps the bait not run into sticks or logs. It protects the hook from getting caught on snags, so you're able to fish structures and weed lines without much hassle and target the spots that you want. We talked about before, what you're always looking for in creeks and rivers are these currents that are flowing into these deeper pools. They provide you know, the perfect ambush point. I think I saw Sasquatch. Um, provide a really good ambush point for the bass to sit there and come up and take the minnows in the current. So what about that Sasquatch? Uh, I've been, he's been following us for a little bit. We'll try to see if we can catch him. Woo! Woo! Yeah, he's up there. He's up there. <laughs> Good smallie. Good smallie. Nice. Nice. Booyah. There we go. That's right. Right on the football jig with the crawdad trailer. That's how you catch those smallies, baby. Nice on the outside of the lip. Booyah. That's how it's done. So we just caught that guy on the football jig. I'm gonna tell you about the approach I just took. So, to catch him, I casted. See this current right here? I casted right into it. And the football jig's got enough weight to where it's gonna sink to the bottom. So I just casted it, hit it right in the middle, let it sink to the bottom, reel in, pop, pop, pop. You want to make it look like a crawfish. And if you've ever seen a crawfish in the water, you know that their natural movement's like jerky and they, they jump back. So that's what you're trying to imitate. And then he hit it right as I was jerking it. So I went, boom, set the hook, hooked him up, reeled him in nice and tight, baby. Live action, brother.